Let's turn to today's ground report. It comes from Mysuru and a shocking case because it's over 72 hours since the horrific gang rape of a 22-year-old MBA student near Mysuru. There have been no arrests so far. The police claim the probe is in full swing, but anger and protests continue across Karnataka even as politicians are on the back foot over their remarks on rape. Nolan Pitto reports from Mysuru. <laughs> Anger spirals over the horrific rape of a 22-year-old MBA student near Mysuru. The group of men accused of raping the student are still absconding. Over 72 hours have gone by and the police have made no arrests. They seem to have no leads either. Here is what happened on Tuesday. A student of a private college was allegedly gang-raped by unidentified people on the outskirts of the city. The 22-year-old was riding pillion with her male friend on a two-wheeler. They were on their way to Chamundi Hills, a popular tourist destination. Well, we're now in Mysuru. Now, this is the exact place where a young woman was sexually assaulted three days ago. This is on Tuesday evening. In fact, somewhere in this particular area, she, along with her friend, had come over here in the evening when the incident took place. Now, as of now, the police have not been able to identify the assailants. They have not been arrested as, as of now. The police say the rape survivor is still in shock and is yet to record her statement. The investigation has proceeded and we know the fact, as a matter of fact, that this incident has happened. There's no doubt about it and we have some scientific evidence also. Investigation is in progress and we are sure we will be able to detect such cases. While the police are yet to make a breakthrough, all that seems to be happening is victim shaming by politicians in responsible positions. couples, newly married couples, the investigation is going on. A special investigation team has been set up. They are trying to figure out who these assailants are. And let's hope that the police do find them quickly. With video journalist Shimbuti Gurumat, Nolan Pinto for India Today in Mysuru. Very, very troubling. Mysuru, one of the safest places in the country. We hope the culprits are caught soon.